at this stage you have your zip file downloaded with the correct firmware for your machine. We are now going to open that file, find what we're looking for, get it onto an SD card so we can move over to the machine and start flashing our printer at last. So now I'm on the uh, the repo half of the SD card. I got uh, I did a little of this off camera. But all I've done is take the zip file that we downloaded and for my case, I have uh, the 61 final BT. I have a BTT uh, SKR CR6 motherboard in my computer, which does make me a little bit um, uh, different for those of you with Creality stock devices trying to copy from what I do. So I'll, I will do my best to have the discipline to point out when my machine is going to behave a little bit differently than yours. Um, but here I, I do still have the stock Creality. TFT fitted, so I will have to boot, uh, flash and boot the DWIN set uh, firmware to my machine, so I think I can demonstrate pretty much everything I need to for all configurations of this machine. So this has already been unzipped so that I can just browse and navigate down to where I want to go. Um, so I would start there. Take your zip file and unpack it um, to uh, a folder so that you can navigate into the folder you will find the config files this is where uh, he's included the configuration h and the advanced.h that were used to compile the firmware that's in the zip file so that you can go back and answer your own questions if you like about um, what settings did he use uh, which switches which features did he turn on which ones did he not uh, what is he uh, established as the default values and if you wanted your system to be any different than what you see here, you would have to recompile the firmware yourself. So this is pretty much what you've been locked into if this is uh, what you want to do is simply use the firmware that's already compiled. There is a, um, a link back to the Discord. There's a link back to where the firmware is found. There's a readme file that I'm going to skip, but that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to read it. <clears throat> and then uh, when we go into the firmware folder, uh, it's been divided down into two more, right? The description text can just confirms that this is the file you actually downloaded in case you couldn't decode what the file name meant, right? I have a CR6SE in my case, not the Max. The Max would have been a different file. Um, with the Big Tree uh, SKR CR6 motherboard and stock reality screen. So I know I'm into the right thing for me, right? Which is, again, it's, it's in the file name, but not everyone... Um, understands that part or can make sense of it. Um, for the motherboard itself, um, the firmware has already been compiled. As it happens, the uh, BTT board um, expects you to always call the firmware firmware bin in lowercase. It renames the file to firmware.cur when it has flashed it, all in caps. So if you look back at your card after trying to flash, you can tell from the file name whether it did or did not successfully flash. That is not the case for the Creality um, motherboards, the 1.1, the, uh, the, the 452, the 453 boards. They all require that the firmware be a unique name every single time you attempt to flash the board. So if the first flash doesn't work, uh, part of the process is to rename the file. But you won't see it called firmware bin in those files. You'll see it called something much longer because he's using the date and timestamp to make it a unique name every time. Anyway, so there's, uh, long story short, there's the motherboard file. All I have to do really is copy that. So control C, which you can't see me do, but that's what I did. And I navigate down to the flash drive we created before in drive D and I, uh, I paste. I'll let you see me do that. Right, paste. I could now take this card, put it in the printer, cycle power, and it would flash the motherboard with that firmware.bin file. Okay, that's all I had to do, and that's all you would have to do if you wanted to use this card to flash your um, your um, printer motherboard. Now I can go back to where I just came from, right, where it still says firmware. Excuse me, and I go into the touchscreen firmware folder. There's a zip file, which is what you will find the first time you go in there. And there's a folder where, because I unpacked that zip file into this folder for the sake of, uh, of being able to get around easily. And in here you see the files we talked about. There's the kernel upgrade folder. 
Okay, inside that are three bin files with capital letters. These three files are all necessary to, to program the DWIN display card with the operating system called DJS2 version 3.5. In three pot. I'm not going to apologize for their file naming scheme, but these three things are necessary. And if you have, say, on the stock uh, Creality display, if they've progressed, and I don't know because I don't bother with stock firmware for a long time now, but if they have progressed to DJS 4.0, for instance, which is the currently the latest version of the operating system of which I'm aware, uh, this firmware will not run on 4.0. So if you flash the firmware successfully, and then you end up with a black screen. If you look at the top line of the flash and you see 4.0 instead of 3.5, that's what has happened. You, you have uh, the wrong operating system on the display. So it's, in, it's in essential that we take these three files. Let me see if I can do it this. Whoops. No, don't do that. There we go. Copy. And then I navigate back to DWIN set which I got ahead of the game here. I've already pasted it in here, but I would then paste, right, just to be redundant. And it says, you've already done that for me, right? So I don't need to do that. But those three files need to be in here. In addition to what else is here already, these files are all compiled by the clever fellows who learned how to use the DGIS tool to customize the interface for the um, community firmware. So this is your beautiful user interface. It is not the Creality stock interface, which I don't mean to impugn. I'm just saying it's not the CR6 uh, community firmware interface. This is. Learning how to modify that is a real uphill battle. It's a very steep learning curve, a very complicated tool, and life is changing right now, and it'll be the wrong version of the tool Anyway, so let's not go there. Let's just say DWIN set is what I need here. It has to have those three files in it before I do this, which is copy. And then I go back to D, which is the primary partition on the SD card, and I right click and I paste. This card can now be removed from the machine and used for both. It can be used to flash the display and it can be used to flash the motherboard neither file confuses the other so it doesn't matter if they're both on here at the same time if this is how it works for you great if you'd rather do them one at a time that's okay too i'm just saying it will work this way now okay so the next step will be to pull this card stick it in the display and flash the system <laughs>